there are a lot of arcade products on the market ranging in price and one of the cheaper ones now is the legends gamer mini by at games you know i have a history with that games i haven't covered their products in a while but here i bought this from gamestop on clearance and you know i wanted to share this my experience with this i heard about this new line from at games and i had some friends with their products and i was curious myself and this really is an entry point into arcade gaming and you know i uh, got it from gamestop it comes with a really small hdmi cable as it has a like a wireless streaming device called the legends core that it plugs into and you know i i'm curious about how this works and you know is it a is it a good experience here it is here's the legends core i do believe comes with 100 games built in you can add additional games uh, there are videos out there that show that. I'm just gonna show my base experience with the product that comes to be. And here's the manual. Uh, you know, there's additional things. You can add additional pinball games to this. And there's even accessories, pinball flippers that you can purchase and add it to this arcade panel. There also is a two player version of this at GameStop right now for on clearance, a hundred bucks. This is 50 bucks and still available at GameStop of the time I've uploaded this video. And so uh, it is a wireless arcade, but you can hook it up into many different modes. There's a control hub on the back. When you do get your arcade stick, it does come with a rechargeable battery and it takes a while to charge. But I really like all the extra features, including the pinball buttons that you can add to this. Here we go. Now, when I first experienced uh, trying to pair this, which you have to with the Legends Core, I did have an issue, but eventually got it to work. It was kind of frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. Tons of different settings and different things you can do with this. I'm not gonna go into detail, but you can add your own games. There's videos about that. You can have a second player wirelessly join you tons of different features the biggest thing you probably should do if you're not going to do anything is update the firmware and so you don't need to do the arcade dent it's another service that this offers but i would say update it to the latest firmware you can do that pretty e easy and i think that's the number one thing you should do but there's tons of different settings in this and different ways you can play games you can add additional games to this. As I mentioned before, there are pinball boards that you can get with this if you purchase the pinball flippers, which are 50 bucks. I wish those were cheaper, but it does make this very appealing to me. I think I'm gonna probably do it just because I love pinball and it might be the most affordable way of playing some virtual pinball. You know, a total of $100 and you can play many different boards of some virtual pinball and i think that's that's a pretty awesome feature adding those pinball buttons to this is just another thing that this thing offers it really is an entry point into some pinball as well and i think that's awesome there are several different modes you can play games you can add uh, a scanline filter there is a rewind feature and save slots so that also is an additional modern features that this provides pretty cool so let's go into the games. Here are the games. I'm gonna go quickly through this. There are 100 built-in games. You don't need to go in line with this uh, for people that uh, don't wanna mess with that. And it's a combination of some obscure arcade games, uh, a few Neo Geo games from some third party, a few Disney licensed games, pretty interesting. Uh, Data East, Jalico, uh, there's just a wide assortment. And if you're like me and kinda like those uh, obscure arcade games, this is a great listing of some things you don't see necessarily everywhere. Now I know uh, some of these games are available elsewhere, including Nintendo Switch, but this is 50 bucks. So it has some console games on here as well. Some things you don't see uh, a ton of places elsewhere. It's really kind of a, a wide assortment. So this is Aston Axe. I think I'm saying that right, if not, oh well. But this is uh, the arcade version of the game. Now I grew up with the Nintendo version, which is a different game, 
But I like games such as this. Uh, you know, I really was a big fan of Legendary Axe on the TurboGrafx-16. I do believe that they uh, share a designer with the series with this game. So that's why it kind of looks close to that game. I do believe, I don't know the whole history of that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but anyways, great arcade game. And here's a, here's a unique shooter that was never ported to home consoles, Boogie Wings. And this is kind of a cool biplane side-scrolling shooter. And I really enjoyed this one. This is another game, and I'm, I'm picking kind of 10 games on this that I think are, are interesting or ones that, you know, I found myself wanting to go back and play. This has got kind of a weird gameplay mechanic where you can you know, drop items and bombs on enemies. Really cool, but if you get shot out of your plane, you're not dead. So you're, you're you pretty much essentially can eject and you pretty much become kind of a side school or runner where you can pick up different vehicles you have bubble bobble which is an arcade classic for many so it doesn't have just uh, obscure arcade games it includes classics such as space invaders i would have loved a pac-man but you know i don't think namco is on this but you can add namco games to this and it, it is kind of a process just a heads up that's why i'm not showing it in this video but uh, you can do that. You can add additional games to this, including console games. Uh, here's kind of a Psy Battler. This is kind of an obscure uh, top-down shooter. thought that was pretty interesting. I haven't played this one before, I don't think. And I thought it was kind of a, a, a welcome addition. You know, this really, the strength of this, this arcade system is it does offer kind of a wide variety of gaming all in one spot legal for 50 for 50 bucks now i think the retail was like 129 dollars but i don't know i like it elevator action returns i still need to get this for the sega saturn but this is a fantastic arcade game it has been included with a couple compilations and but you know this is one way of playing it for sure and again uh all the arcade games that offer two-player options can be utilized uh with uh some different setups with this product so yeah uh there was a few sound issues i had with games just a heads up um you know, not all the sound was 100 percent but but still pretty cool they even have strange stuff like this fix it felix which is you know a tie-in with wreck it ralph from disney and they actually there actually was a game made pretty awesome and so it plays great you know definitely if you're a, a fan of games such as like crazy climber or donkey kong you're gonna like this game if you haven't played it before it's pretty awesome so yeah, moving on, there are, uh, maybe you're more of a, a Neo Geo fan, uh, Spin Master is a game, uh, it's not as good as games such as Metal Slug, but, you know, this is a game that, that isn't on everything, and it's kind of an obscure, more obscure third-party Neo Geo game, colorful graphics, uh, very fun to play, kind of short, but, you know, for people looking for a game that you want to beat. And, and like the arcade games, you just add credits and there are save slots on this. Also included though is console games like this, Super Empire Strikes Back. So there's console games on this. Uh, I grew up with this game and, and you know, uh, there is some slowdown in it, but I'm a huge Empire Strikes Back fan. So having this on there, then the entire Super Star Wars trilogy is on here. So that's, that's pretty awesome. You know, qu some quality Super Nintendo games. Maybe you're more of a console player. Kind of a nice break from all the arcade games. But then you have obscure stuff such as Tetris Plus 2. And the first one is on here as well. from uh, Published from Jalco. And, you know, I am not the best Tetris player. But it is a quality puzzle game. So it's not just all shooters or fighters. There's several different types of games on this. And they did a good job of selecting uh, some obscure titles, but mixed in with some games that everybody's going to know how to play. Last and definitely not least, there is this. And this is Zombies Ate My Neighbors. This is a Super Nintendo version, but I know for many, this is a classic. Really glad that this is on here. And as I mentioned before, you can add additional games. And so obviously it can run Super Nintendo games, Sega Genesis, and a whole lot more. So overall, what do I think? 
I think this is a great entry weight product, especially for 50 bucks. Now, because it's on clearance, I don't know how long this is gonna last. You know, $50, you know, at games is probably not making anything on this. GameStop's probably just clearing out their stock. You know, GameStop's probably not doing well themselves. So if you're interested in this, I wouldn't wait on this. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching this video. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. And if you're interested, check out my affiliate links below as that helps support me. Thank you so much. This is the Immortal John Hancock and you have a good day.